YouTube. What's good? Diddy, if it was a tort, your ass isn't going to jail. <laughs> to your mora cunt, to jail your ass is going. Huh? Right to fucking jail, right where you belong, you goddamn freak. Huh? <laughs> That's the perfect place for you, bro, because you would be on some weird shit. Nah, 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 nah. Like, ain't nobody really give up on Diddy when I saw the video and whooping that bitch ass. Like, I don't get me wrong. I'm equal rights for I am equal rights for ass whooping and defense. Not I don't mean like going behind no 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 no, no woman and beating the shit. What, nigga? The woman was running away from you. You went out your room to go beat her. No, 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 you, f you sick fuck, nah, mm -mm. we saw the video, Diddy, you went, uh, you went to her and beat the bitch, I let me stop calling that bitch, you went and beat the woman, you, no, 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 oh, Diddy, I hope when you in jail, one big buff nigga named, um, big buff nigga named Saquon, come, come to you like that, hey, Diddy, my name is Saquon, I like you, mm. You're my favorite producer. Mm, I, 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 I like that song you and, and Biggie Smalls did. Mm, take that, take that, take that, take that. Mm, you look like a strong boy. I know you can take that, take that, take that, take that. Mm, they, they, mm, they say they found a bunch of baby oils in your house. Mm, I need me some baby oils. I need me some baby oils. Mm, I'm going I'm, to I'm go to commissary and I'm going to get me some peanut butter. And I'm going to... And I'ma take some 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 jam and I'ma make myself I'm 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 gonna make myself some peanut butter and jelly ass sandwich and I'ma let you toss my salad. Mmm, yeah. And you gon' don't cry don't cry, little nigga, don't cry. Ooh, little nigga, if you cry, I'm, 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 little nigga, don't you cry. If you cry, I'm gonna make you fight for your ass, boy. That's what I want buff nigga name shake say to do to you, cause you's a freak, did he? You's a freak. God damn. But let's get into it. Twenty weird things video twenty oh shit. 20 weirdest videos of Diddy. That's Diddy's like, a weird dude. From disturbing footage of damn, Diddy's wow. freak off island to doing these satanic rituals on his victims, these are the 20 weirdest videos of Diddy. And first up, Diddy was caught on camera at an auction when he sold something terrifying. Excuse me, um, I don't mean to interrupt you. And I would like to auction something off, okay? If you win, you get a night out with Diddy. Saturday night in New York. And I promise you, Yo ass to wake up Wednesday laying beside me. Nah. And if you think that he's joking, check out number 19 on our list. For all those in London that don't know what happens to the white man when he comes to a P. Diddy party, this is what happens to the white man. Uh, it's so unfortunate. You gotta pull back though, so they can see. That's crazy. Matt, move out the way. You're still alive. Look at that! Look at look! Would you get a drink on his head? And that's and that's James from Simeon Mobile Disco. He is a actual D DJ. I'm supposed to pass out, but when they come to one of my parties, this is what happens to him. Yeah, and that's not the only dude Diddy schemed on. Because number 18, Diddy and Biggie were caught on camera being more than just friends. I look at him like Jesus. I say Jesus. And the uh, next question oh, is, I'll be damned if a grown man put his hand on my mother. Oh. Nigga, you got your, your cotton picking mind. And if anything, Diddy treats his boyfriends better than his girlfriends. Because next up in number 17, Diddy got in a fight with his ex girlfriend Cassie and decided to post a TikTok to humiliate. Biggie was swinging that way? Damn, you know, Hollywood weird, eh? We get her online. What you want, my, What? What you gotta say now? What you gotta say now? You ain't got shit to say. Now for number 16. At this point, everyone kind of knew Diddy was up to no good, which is exactly why Jimmy Fallon exposed him in 2016. You used to, you used to invite me to your, to your parties. And, <laughs> I know, you did. Yeah. You did. I remember I got an invite from you once. This is true. You used to have these crazy parties and one invite was it, uh, it self-destructed. After it was you yeah, talking yeah, and said yes, you gave I remember. the information yes. of where the party was and then it said yes. you, this message was self-destructed. I'm very, I'm very high concept. Look, Diddy was clearly destroying evidence. However, he wasn't able to destroy everything because at number 15, 
Diddy once beat his own girlfriend on camera and tried to hide the evidence for years. See, in 2024, See, CNN released right never before seen footage of Diddy See, chasing his girlfriend Cassie through a hotel woman. hallway and beating her. And after the footage was released, it was revealed Diddy tried to pay the hotel $50,000 to destroy the tapes. But look, Diddy's always had a strange side with the women closest to him. Because at number 14, he filmed himself getting freaky with his own mother. Yeah, my mom's single. Yeah, for real. Mom do know how to have a good time. She ain't sitting in the house playing. They're outside moving and shaking, baby. She come with me to strip club. I don't care. For real. But it gets even weirder. Because after watching number 13 on her list, I think Diddy wants to be his mom. Nah, I, I, I don't know if I say be his mom, but... Negro. His his mommy didn't want good cut off because she entertaining a bunch of fuckery like this going on. Yep. Your son is be already Oh shit. Oh boy. Hey, hey Hollywood, big time is y'all niggas weird. I don't know what the fuck y'all's be on. See one night, Diddy hopped on Snapchat after having a few drinks and posted himself cross-dressing. So Atlanta, we come in, get my f away. Yeah, Atlanta, I'm bringing something special. Hey, yo, Toronto, cash. You're right, yeah, yo. So, we going to Toronto. It's going to Toronto. Come on. Now, next up, we got to talk about number 12, because this man, Diddy, loves kissing men. See, Wait, yo, 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 what? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, flag on the play, flag on the play. <laughs> flag on the play. <laughs> what? What are the answers I just watch? No, nah, that has to be AI. That's AI. See, in 2002, Diddy was doing an interview with Birdman, and at first, Diddy was kind of feeling him up. Start working out, though. Just start, like, like get in the gym, no But after that, he even went in for a little kiss. I was the president for But if that wasn't weird enough, next up at number 11. Okay, that part, you, 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 kissing him on the top of his head, you, you gaslighting on that part. Just a little bit, you just, personally. Evan, he actually tried to kiss a grown man on the lips and got rejected on live TV. See, during the Golden Globes, Diddy was on stage about to hand Bono his award when he went in for a kiss and got rejected. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Wow. Wow, wow. Now look, we hit the top 10 now. Okay, that part you guys like, because I wouldn't even say he was trying to go out for a kiss. Because Diddy, I don't know, nah, I feel like the dude just felt like, whoa. I don't know how to explain, but it to me personally, it didn't look, eh, nothing crazy on that one. I feel like that part, you're reaching a little bit. Like the two, the, the last two, you, you, you could, he could say, oh, bitch is reaching, you're, bitch is reaching. So these videos aren't just weird, they're downright deranged. And we gotta mention the fact that Diddy once revealed his darkest secret to the entire world. See, in 2004, Diddy was on the Conan O'Brien show when he told everyone how he gets ready for his freak offs. I don't know if this is just made up myth or if this is true, but I'm told that when you go to a hotel, anytime you go to a hotel, you don't just check in the way everybody else does. You send someone ahead to prepare the hotel room for you. It's called preparing the sexy. What's preparing the sexy? I mean, when I walk in, I mean, I, I definitely um, take pride in being the originator of the pre preparation of the sexy. Pre you, yes, yes. Yes, and that's candles. I like candles. I, I like um, tuberous. That's that's a smell. I like, I like that scent. I'm attracted to certain what kind scents. Of, tu what, what kind of tuberous? Tuberous. Yes. Okay, as a scent you like? Yes, it's a scent. Okay. You know, I like lilies. I like white orchids, you know, roses and things of that nature. Um, I, I'm into baths, you know, so I like my, 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 my bath at the right you gonna get a lot of bath in prison now. Temperature. It's just little, little, little things that I, I personally like. I like my room to be sexy. But Diddy gets even weirder with his own friends. Cause for number nine, uh -oh. Diddy filmed himself flirting with Meek Mill. Uh -oh. What's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. 
It's proud of you. I love you. Nah, that's weird. As a grown man, I don't like no next grown man call me. I'm not even like, I'm not even letting no grown man call me daddy. What? Nah, I, I don't even respond. I, I put my head back under the water. I say, yeah, yeah, bro, you tripping. And if you think that's creepy, pay attention to Diddy's reaction after what Meek Mill says right here. Hi. Hey. Be good and that shit, I'm gonna drop you, crazy. I'm drunk as shit. I'm on the mic trying to rap to my dad. What's the move? What's the move? It's your birthday, shit. I'm Did he? I'm trying to rap to my dad? That's what he said? Hold on. Drop you, crazy. I'm drunk as shit. I'm on the mic trying to rap to my dad. What's the move? What's the move? It's your birthday, shit. Diddy got a little too excited when Meek Mill brought up sleeping with someone. Now I think it's safe to say Diddy knows how to make I got a question. Why is grown man calling another grown man who you known for at best ten years? Not even ten years. But it's just like I don't I was like it's okay for him to be a mentor, but to say my dad is crazy. Like even if your father even if you don't have an active father, your father's a dead beetle or whatever it may be make anyone feel uncomfortable and oh, that's shit. definitely true and number eight because he like, once hopped really on instagram over. and shared this Hennessy, come out and, play. and i think we know what he meant by come out and play just watch number seven on our list because diddy once shared a video of him on a balcony Yo. with a bunch of shirtless guys what the when fuck, he started man? weird Hold on, hold on, hold on, both of y'all. Let's get both of y'all. Ain't no grind going on. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no grind going on. No, there's literally about to be talking about balling and just this and that. I think I'm thinking watch, rolling, bracelet. Yeah, and ain't no watch. No, no, no. This is how we smoke. Check your man out. Check your man out. Yeah, just let him do his thing. Yeah, I'm letting him do his thing. The whole crew smokes, you know? Everybody smokes. check it. This is what I got for him. And look, if Diddy wants something, there's no stopping him. Because the number six, Diddy was caught smacking Jay-Z's ass. Fit the nah. head and come back out, make my show hot. I so appreciate it. For well, seeing my you with know, your this, Rockefeller show on the fly. city. Yo, yo, when yo, it comes yo, to women, yo. Diddy's even creepier. Cause at number five, Diddy once admitted to locking women up. If you don't have what they need, they're gonna leave. Right. Gotta right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors. Yeah, this Let's, is sounding kind of dangerous now. It's a little kinky, but yeah, you know. yeah. And some things Diddy does aren't even behind closed. <laughs> This is why he's about to try to suck up in my Nah, nah, nah. Okay, smacking Jay Z on his ass twice is crazy. Lock. Kidnapping people is fucking ridiculous. God Those doors. Damn. Cause at number four, Diddy's the first man to scare Mike Tyson on live TV. <laughs> <laughs> he truly is about Benjamin. <laughs> oh yeah, he's literally. Mike, Mike yeah. said, PTSD. Fuck Mike Tyson. Please move your hand. My ass is not for sale. I don't. Oh God, he wants my booty hole. I don't want. Oh God, please, uh, Dittler, I'm going to fucking kill you, man. Don't. Don't touch my asshole. I don't. I don't play them freak games. You freak ass bitch. Move. That's how Mike Tyson. Was. Well, now when we come back, we go for Diddy. I don't think it's only about the Benjamins. But look, we've hit the top three, also. which means you're about to see Diddy at his absolute weirdest. And first up, Diddy recorded himself on a date with another man. See, while flying on his private jet, Diddy got real comfortable with Russell Brand. Best friend, right here. My new best friend. Hello. Rusty Rocket, very, 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 very near friend of mine. And now here's where things get weird. But, but, but you know what it is? We're, we're, um, we're, we're, we're going out on a, um, on a, on a, on like a date. Uh, um, a straight guy date. Like, uh, straight guy date. Um, to a guy's night, 48 hours in Vegas. Um, you're seeing us at the beginning. Of the 48 hours. Um, as you know what happened in Vegas stays. That's not true. But hey, to be fair, he did tell Fiddy he said he wanted to take him shopping. Vegas. But we really um uh, we plan on going to the hop. Now for number two, 
Diddy's creepiest moments with another guy are probably with Justin Bieber. I mean, just watch this video where Diddy tells the camera Justin's about to have 48 hours with him and they can't discuss anything they're about to do together. Well, check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the you know, where we hanging out and what we doing, we, we can't really disclose. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. And a year later, they linked up again. But this time, you can tell just how uncomfortable Justin is around Diddy. Everything's good, Everything's selling great. out arenas and everything. Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? No. You, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on top of all that, when the two of them went on Jimmy Kimmel together. Bieber started giving away details about their 48 hours together. And of course, that's when Diddy quickly stepped in and shut it down. You got me a Lamborghini. Yeah. Just, oh, well, that's nice. I haven't gotten it yet, though. Yeah. I know. <laughs> when is that coming, that Lamborghini? We talked about this last he time. He had the Lamborghini for a day or two, and he had <laughs> access to the house, and he knows better than be talking about the things that he does with Big Brother Puff on national television. <laughs> but look. Before we get into Diddy's creepiest moment of all time, we have two honorable mentions. And first up, what if I told you- I'd give up your booty hole for a Lamborghini, allegedly. It's crazy. Two, there's proof Diddy performs strange satanic-like rituals on his party guests. See, in 2004, Diddy threw himself a birthday party that appeared to be just like the rest. He invited celebrities like Will Smith, Owen Wilson, and a bunch of the famous people to come over, have drinks, and eat dinner. But when it was time for the food to come out, that's when things took a dark turn. Out came a table full of grapes, chocolate-covered strawberries, and a woman lying on her back, fully nude. If that wasn't creepy enough, Diddy lit up multiple candles and had his guests worship the woman. Then, everyone proceeded to eat food right off her body. The creepiest part is, these photos were hidden for 20 years until someone dug these up. What other creepy photos and videos will come out soon? But anyways, it gets even creepier in our second honorable mention. Because we got to talk about the time in 2017 when Diddy got way too drunk on a podcast and accidentally showed his true self. Just pay attention to how he makes an entire room of grown men terrified. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday. It's fabulous. <laughs> the only <laughs> that got the name that I want. <laughs> they get. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, I love this drink. Will you put my bag? I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, will you put my bag? Daddy, yeah, I like when you oh, when you right scrambling right and here. scraping. For no, 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 I, got I no like shit. that. Make a that wish. One. Just oh, blow it out. No, Your no. birthday every day. And now this is when he pressures one of the guys to join a freak off. You miss me though, mm. for real, because we, I'm I saying, miss, it seems like a thing. I miss it's his birthday with party, Puff, man. Man, I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I, I, we, we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, mm. No, but me and you ain't never really party, you know what I'm saying? Eyes, 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 brother. Eyes, eyes, eyes. You're You're the floor, you're not dream chap is the, the the connection part for Diddy. <laughs> what do you why what the ass is this? Big man calling big man daddy and clawing and scraping now for Diddy's creep. Fire for that. Fire. Oh. Yo, you supposed to be big Rasta man. Yo, Celestia, I, I, I burn you for that. Are you supposed to be Rasta man? You, 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 you entertaining you. Who's, who's this big smile? What's this big smile for? You let man grip you up. Now for Diddy's creepiest moment yes. of all time, we gotta talk about Diddy's final interview before getting arrested. See, exactly one week before the first allegations dropped against him in 2023, Diddy must have known something was coming. And so before people could come for him, he wanted to change the narrative about himself before it even started. 
And so that's why he went on the Graham Norton show and he tried to tell the world what a good guy he is. In this interview, he went on to say he only cares about one thing, peace and love. Y'all call me Diddy, call me Diddy. Okay. But when I'm being love and I'm in that mood because I have to always remind myself we live in a toxic world right. and it's love versus hate. That's what's going on right now. Yeah. And I choose love, that's my new name and love wins. Love wins, let's hey. go love. Hey. After everything yeah, we've learned about love, Diddy, right? it's become clear Diddy represents the complete opposite of peace and love. Because not only has he been exposed for being a straight up creep, but he's undoubtedly one of the most dangerous people in the world. With over 130 lawsuits currently stacked against him and dozens of them coming from children, Diddy finally goes to court in May of 2025, and it's safe to say none of us are on his side. And all you niggas who's at dumb parties, oh, they coming for you too. And I hope they catch every last one. The ones who buy the baby oil and every, ooh, FBI, do what you gotta do. Lock them niggas up. I've never been supportive of locking a bunch of niggas up, you bunch of freaks. Gosh, man, it's trafficking, children, cocaine, pink cocaine. What the odds is pink cocaine? All right, so, wait. No, no, no. Sorry, I take it back. I take it back. That was a mistake. I didn't say allegedly. It's the next time I have pink cocaine. Anyway, but that was a mistake on the bitty part. Bitty part. But no, no, that, 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 that's crazy. Stretching gummy and from, according to the raid, um, allegedly you, 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 they caught firearms with the serial numbers scratched off. Allegedly. It's just crazy, bro. Lock, lock that monkey up. Throw away the key. <laughs> But if you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. And until the next one, I'm out. Peace.